welcome back. Today we're playing Reverse 1999 again, and we are um going back to the new event. Uh, not to keep on recording the main one, but to see what this one is about. <laughs> because I have two days left <laughs> to do this, and and I I managed to have time to record, so 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 I'll, I'll try to do a bit of it today and a bit of it tomorrow. Uh, you'll see a change of wardrobe probably in the middle of it. Um, but let's see what it's about. Ooh. Hi! Procrastination syndrome? Me! <laughs> oh my goodness, same! Absolutely! Let me see what it is. If it's something I don't have to record, I'll do it all by myself. But if it has some lore or some cutscene and stuff, I want to do it together. Okay, let's see. I think it, do, it does. The procrastination syndrome. My eternal damnation. <laughs> I probably will have procrastination in hell too. <laughs> Hello? An icy wind blasts you in the face and a mist fogs up your eyes. You don't know where you are, but with leaden steps you press on. You can vaguely feel yourself moving to a higher place. You can't stay here. You definitely have to get away. Look. The crop is thrown down from above, strong and sturdy, it waves at you and swings in the wind. Your legs are trembling, your eyes are losing focus and your blood is running cold. You stop and you hesitate. An escape? Reach for it? <gasps> what? Okay, <laughs> wait. Um, uh... Grab on, you have nothing to lose, ignore it, even the dying should remain dignified. I'm not gonna die, bitch. <laughs> I have nothing to lose. <clears throat> you reach for the rope and hold on for your dear life. You would have grabbed it uh, with your teeth if you could. <laughs> Sadly, it's not as sturdy as it looks. Crack, you hear the snap of a fishing line. Suddenly you're falling. Panic and fear overwhelms you. Maybe it was a bad idea. <laughs> and take hold of your mind. <clears throat> oh! Kala also, she has anxiety for sure. <laughs> At least when, uh, when uh, she has uh, to speak about uh, important stuff uh, or uh, to a public of some sort, uh, she does have anxiety. She also has like nightmares it seems. Late at night in the research institute, all is quiet as usual. The documents and proposals under your arms uh, have been there for too long. They were probably the cause of the nightmare. Stress. Fifteen? I slept almost four hours? Well, while you were working? You can sleep on the job? <sighs> oh. It was supposed to be a quick nap. It do be like that, but at least it was only four hours. Sometimes it's, it's 12 hours for me. <laughs> I should not be allowed to nap. And most of the time I can't even manage to nap. I just stare at the ceiling. Um, Melatonin helps though. You are faint snoring from all around. The rest of the staff is sound asleep. At least you weren't the only one. <sighs> Wake up, Kala. The deadline is coming sooner than I thought. You're not that much of a procrastination. Procrastinator. If you needed sleep, that's just sleeping. <laughs> the problem is when you use sleep as an escaping mechanism. <laughs> um, look like everybody's exhausted. Phew, stay sharp. We might find something to eat in the research lab. Um, focus 35. Every action will cost Kala bonus focus. You... bonus, sorry. I, they say bonus. You must reach the destination before she runs out of focus. I see. Point the way forward. Okay, um... Examine the crumpled draft. Meet the requirement here to obtain an unexpected payoff. There's still plenty of time. I've got to finish my work before I let the intrusive, th the intrusive thoughts get to me. <clears throat> okay. Um, follow the guide and reach the destination. You cannot pass through sealed areas. Trigger event to create or unlock sealed areas. Don't know what that means. Um, is this a sealed... That's a sealed area. Okay. Hi. What's up? Wow. 
<coughs> a researcher is fast asleep on the floor. She is breathing steadily like a baby. <laughs> Only her adult size makes the scene not so adorable or appropriate. <laughs> Wake her up, or should I? Go sleep in the conference room, da Daksha. Rubbing her eyes, Daksha doesn't seem to realize where she is. Oh, baby. <laughs> it's still cute to me. <laughs> um, after finally figuring it out, she jumps on to her feet in great surprise. Oh, gosh. Did they fall asleep on the floor? <clears throat> Why don't you go home? I thought you already finished the report. No, Kumar gave me some new suggestions. Wow, for my research directions. For my research direction. I have, uh, I have to start all over again. Fuck. She did that again? Ugh. This is going to be my last project here. That's right. I should have done this earlier. Oh, girl. Well, a professor is a professor. <laughs> With that, she buried herself in research, ignoring you. You take a deep breath and walk away. I'm very sorry, girly. Let me see. Oh, I see. The focus are the steps. The road is shaking in the air. What is this? This is my snack, but... Ah, this, that's uh, the objective at the end. I see. It's okay, it's not unlocked. Oh, now it's unlocked, I think. <laughs> Alpha cereal bar lies on the table. Dry, still, and uh, half exposed. It doesn't look very appetizing. Ah... Uh, it doesn't. <laughs> it really doesn't. <laughs> it's from the day before yesterday. Well, beggars can be chooser, but beggars still get stomach aches. Be careful. <laughs> um. Mm, it tastes uh... much better than I thought. Okay. Lucky. Uh, indeed. <laughs> you examine the cereal bar and notice that something's a bit off. Ha. Huh. Gorav. Not so lucky. Uh, Gorav. Now the whole team has to pay for your for your screw up. You can't even distinguish a single star from a binary star. Binary star, sorry. What academy in its right mind ever ever let you in? Coverage. <laughs> sorry. I'm working them. in an institution, not a pet store. Remember to tie it to the door. Huh? Even the smallest mistake can result in a sleepless night for everyone. Oh, then it's fine to be pissed off, I guess. Miss Calabona, you take the coffee with both hands. The overly enthusiastic puppy. Oh, there is a puppy. Is still at your knees, oblivious to the unpleasant state of affairs. These telescopes are our eyes, using thousands of years of observational data to guide us as we peer into the depths of the universe. Well, we have never seen it with our own eyes, though. But I'm sure I... Again, please do not forget to conduct analysis on the changes in the spectral lines. They should be treated like your second pair of eyes. Yes, miss. Uh, Gorav, I think it was said. Lowers his head and pulls a cereal bar out of his pocket, drawing the friendly puppy's attention. Oh! You're eating the bar of the puppy? Ah, that's what it was wrong. <laughs> um, he absentmindedly feeds the puppy until the researchers call him away. So. <laughs> I'm sorry, girly. Didn't mean to feed you. You turn the cereal bar over uh, and see Jack the. No. I don't know how to read it, marks on it. Webs. Whoa! The shadows are hot on my ears. I should hurry up. Oh! They can move! Um, get to the exit before you lose focus so you can finish your research in time. The shadow will be close behind Calabona. You must dodge at all times. Was it even worth it? Hi. I need me stuck. Oops. Okay, so I think I have to go to the paper first. I'm gonna skip the story because I already read, read it. These crumpled drafts 
are research waste. They are now in the trash. A yellowed piece of paper catches your attention. Something you throw away. What was it again? Sorry for my hair. <laughs> um, pick it up. Not interested. Pick it up. Carbon of fresh of a promotion. The senior researcher Dan Dane formally challenge you. challenges you. The loser of the Aria Aria Bata award will be the winner's back and call for a hot coffee. For hot coffee. <laughs> you snort disdainfully. Crumple it into a bowl and throw it back in the trash. Huh. Okay. Yes, definitely should have gone to the piece of paper before. Chill! <laughs> before. Did not look good, girly. What the fuck were you doing? <laughs> Out of range? Of what? Oh, okay. We're fine. We're so fine. Should I have fought that one? Well, <laughs> now that you're fully awake, it's time to get back to work. No, I need another five minutes. Go straight to your desk. Five minutes for what? I will take them. You should get maybe more of a break, considering you just ate a, a dog's a dog's cereal bar. <laughs> It's pitch black outside the institute, but compared to this enclosed, suffocating space, the open air might offer a breath of inspiration. <coughs> we could always use a little inspiration, my friend. Focusing too much on work will only scare the, mu the muse away. ta -roo! You are already outside the gates when you come to your senses. You are greeted by something that has sense work, the limitless universe. How long has it been since I came here? The countless days of night and nights of observing the stars within the confines of the Institute. I forgot how much I have to crane my neck to see the stars. But when I bury my head in data, I can discover so much more. I should come here more often. But there's always something pressing at hand. Hmm. Such a rare opportunity. The urgent proposals are... I should be able to find all these stars again. Those stars. Is I didn't read it actually. <laughs> I invented it. <laughs> ah, Tad, you collapse. Wow. And all your worries fade into the background. This is not good. But simply ignoring and dodging problems won't help you get rid of that terrible monster. Inside the institute... Oh, excuse me? Oh, excuse me? The proposal you ignored are starting to groan. Is this a nightmare again? They can no longer stand this deliberate neglect. Driven by anger, they grow larger and larger as they search for the one to blame. What is happening? <laughs> Until finally they break the restraint of their vessel and come after you with ravenous intent. Did I do something wrong? I just went outside to get the air. How is this? <laughs> How is it bad? <laughs> is it actually shaped by my answers, by the way? Uh, only one star. Can I get two? Maybe not. Whoa, goodies! Sorry. <laughs> yum, 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 thanks. I think... Uh, <clears throat> I think they only have one... Wow! One star, so I'm fine. Winking stars. So what about the monsters? <laughs> the stars, okay, the monster, what the fuck? <laughs> okay, what's up? Sirius, Betelgeuse. They look so close to each other in the eyes of mankind. Stars? Sirius is a stars. A stars, a stars. <laughs> Wait, sorry. Give me a second. Okay. But they are actually over 600 light years apart. Yeah. Whether immersed in the boundless universe, an expansive plane, or a quiet bathroom, one cannot escape the contemplation of life. Under the cover of the starry night, the angry beast crawl to your side, entangling your legs. Angry. 
Ibus. <laughs> Forbid. Project. Delay. You're very chill for, for one that is surrounded by monsters? What? Not chill anymore. Okay. Huntress Ravenous ends grab hold of you, trying to drag you back to that terrifying lair known as the Research Institute. Such is the fate of the procrastinator. Relaxing is important for... True! Deadline. It's fine! I literally... I literally did the whole project in one night. <laughs> you struggle to run away, but they won't let you go. Darkness envelops your eyes and you feel yourself being dragged back to work. You can neither stop nor turn around. The only thing you can do now is to prevent yourself from being crushed further into this mental car crash. Okay, how do I do that? A puzzle, of course! <laughs> the feeling of dread is getting stronger. What is this? Oh... Huh? Hey! This is bad. I'm guessing these thoughts are starting to creep up on me. Ah, these are the representation of very intrusive thoughts, maybe. What a focus. Triggering events. Okay. So I can just. What can I do? <laughs> um. Let's try. Okay. Looking at the piles of data, you are feeling at, lo at a lot, sorry. But you have to take the first step anyway. Now start the engine of your brain and try to keep up with your ends. Organize data. Hmm. The data in May, we saw nothing that day thanks to the dark clouds. You remember that day, a bunch of children swarmed into the observatory surrounded the telescopes and equipment and poked around curiously. They were children of wealthy families. Some were children of professors or they were invited because of their parents' generous donation to Banner University. Ordinary children had to pay a higher price, rude, to observe the universe. <laughs> This is classism. I'm not shocked though. <laughs> but she knew that. Distracted by shiny new discoveries, the kid will soon pay no attention to the dreariness of this place. Unfortunately, because of the bad weather, they have to come here another day. The children sighted, sight, sighted, sight, sight, in unison and added to the observatory exit. One girl stayed, clenched her dirty clothes, staring at the telescope twice her size. You should go with them. Um, are you the admin here? I love this big girl. She's beautiful. Hmm. Nice taste. But I'm not the admin. That's a relief. The things I had to go through to get here to see this. Following those noisy brat, brats, and sneaking in behind them all and all. You know this place is over 20 km from the foot of the mountain, don't you? Is no one picking you up? I can walk. May I take a ah, internet? Sorry. <laughs> May I take a look at the sky just for a second? But I'm connected to my phone! <laughs> How is this possible? Are we good? You think we're good? We're good. <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> Throwing at the request, uh, you looked at the dark clouds covering the sky and glanced at the specks of mud on the girl's ankles. <laughs> she looked up at you, eyes wide open as if sparkling with tears, and tugged at your clothes. Promise me you'll take my ride back home. Oh! Deal! Oh! Quite a sweetheart. The memory of her eager gaze and spirited figure brings warmth to the cold institution. Organizing observation data, analyzing celestial orbit, you seem to have found some of the drive you once said. Cute! Now what I... okay. Oh, 
Great, let's take focus uh, as this. Sorry, I didn't read the first the one before that because uh, I was distracted. <gasps> this sucks! I'm fine. <laughs> An unfinished orbit model is shown on the screen. You have to fill in the data one by one and complete the calculation. A tedious task indeed. Fill in the data. <coughs> One row, two row, your arms are getting sore, but you only just getting started. It's Kumar's requirement that you must enter the observation data yourself, even though the job is supposed to be done by interns. Her stubbornness has led many colleagues to resign. Damn. So pretty. Oof. It's sparkling. Researchers should treat their observation data like their own child. Will you leave your child to the homeless on the street? Sorry, no offense, Garav. <laughs> With the intern! <laughs> that's, that's full of offense, I'm sorry! <laughs> Kumar, I've already been away from home for two whole days just to fill in the observation data. Mm. Now, all I know is I have a real child at home. I need to take care of him instead of you, of your dumb metaphor. I should be with him now, before the nanny puts more funny idea into his head. What? So the solution to your problem is to simply find yourself a nanny or a husband with an education degree, right? What? Imani's cheek flushed red. You know what? I quit! Job her me, Kumar! <laughs> That's not what you, what you said. <laughs> I love that. How, how they fixed it, though. <laughs> wow, we. She stormed out of the door. Kumar ordered Gur... What was it read? Gurav? To pack uh, her things uh, and uh, throw them out like garbage. Jesus! Imani is crouched uh, on the ground sobbing. You walked up to her. <sighs> I won't come back. I think it's for the best. She's toxic. With a hand on her forehead, she seemed to be suffering a severe headache. Kumar should know not everyone is like her, and you, willing to dedicate your whole life to the mysterious, to the mysteries of the universe. I have my own <clears throat> life. Valid! Yet she trampled on my dignity. I will never forgive her. Yes, I think uh, you can't live for your work. You can, if it's what make you, makes you happy. But you have to have at least a few hobbies that are not part of your work, so you can actually, like, uh, um, take a break sometimes. Uh, but it, it's freaking nuts to just... Uh, well, uh, unless it's like your hyperfixation and you could live out of it, uh, and you are you never get tired of it. But I could never. I think uh, most people could never. I think she's fair. Imani, you are a queen. You didn't deserve that treatment. <laughs> you never saw her again after that. Your mind, your mind has returned to reality. You look back at the screen. Your finger is typing mechanically. Good. All the data has been filled in to the rhythm of your keystrokes. Now you just need to wait for the big guy to generate the complete model. Okay. Fine. Whoa, fuck me! We're fine. Whoa, it's fucked up, sorry. I got this! Did not did it within 10, so I will retry later. <laughs> so full of curses! <laughs> Snores! <laughs> the monster fire requires down, like a giant beast fallen into, the, into a deep slumber. You pack up all the documents and turn off the computer. You know that this is far from over, a nightmare still looms ahead, and you've only cleared one of many hurdles to come. Oh, girly. My back hurts uh, because I'm thinking about doing documents and stuff. <laughs> Your colleagues are about to wake up, yet what you need is a dream in quietude. Oh, hiding in the car. A pro move. <laughs> you get into the car and isolate yourself. What a mood. Soon you pass out and sink into the depths of your consciousness. This is a bit of a depressing life, but it's... I think it's very relatable. <laughs> also, not very depressing. She loves her job, but this is the bad part of her job that she doesn't love as much. I 
need it. Oh, wow, I need it. I didn't know. <laughs> I thought I didn't. Yum, 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 yum. Ooh, this also. Yum, yum. <laughs> Actually. Um, uh, confrontation. I love that she <laughs> teleports. Mm. I don't like the big tease, but I love the background so much that I will... I will ignore that. <laughs> the font is not my favorite, but that's it. Oh? In a crowded building, you walk into a classroom and stop onto the podium with a file in your hand. The scrutinizing gazes coming from below are hard to ignore. It feels both familiar and overwhelming. This report given here concerns the work, the supernova under the binary star system of White Dwarf FYDL 82A. The audience adjusts their posture and listens to your introduction. They have questions, but their professionalism tells them to wait until the end. Occasionally, they frown at some of your arcane terms, as if this were not a serious academic report. The rest of them, the rest of the time, they keep a stern face, as they see themselves as academic royalty. Thank you for listening. This concludes this, this report. Thank you for listening. The audience looks at each other, and the silence in the classroom is deafening. Whoa! Di nuovo! Di no sorry! <laughs> he switched in Italian! <laughs> um, again? What? What do you have left to do? That you are still tormented? Aside from you, no one notices the, mor the monster lurking at the door. Like a sort of da Damocle. Damocle? I don't know Damocle in Italian, so I don't know how to read that. <laughs> um... This is going to be a tough battle. What kind of monster is that proposal? What? Okay, no thought comes from nowhere. That anxiety is a stressable... This is an anxiety, sorry. This anxiety is as stressable as the data. I should find the partner behind... The partner... The partner, sorry. <laughs> the partner behind it. Okay. Um, momentary shadow... We'll pause from time to time. Time your moves to pass through an armed. Oh fuck me, alright. Okay. Um, after a short pause, momentary shadow will materialize for... Materialize for one round. Do not engage it directly. All of these, they are a lot. And I have to summon a thingy too. Oh my god. Fuck me. Oh, I didn't read it, sorry. I got scared and I... Oh my god. I have to do this. Hi. I'm scared. He reads your report carefully, but the content does not dispel the doubt on his face. He seems to be looking at a plate of indiscernible food. Hmm, first <laughs> of all, you're an arcanist, right? Oh. So, while also knowing that they did not get kicked out of whatever they were part of. They seem to know everything about you. But you remain calm and collected, as if uh, you've never hidden your identity before. Yes. But I don't think uh, that has anything to do with my report. Um, if research proposal can have uh, a fearful gaping maw, then uh, what's so strange about them knowing a few things about you? If you look at my signature on the report, it really states that I am an archaeist. I don't think it's anything to be ashamed of. You breathe a sigh of relief. You might even say you've waited a long time for this discussion. Of course, <laughs> everyone is welcome to study astronomy. Hmm. We astronomers have an open mind. But in your report, I found a lot of trajectory data that are impossible to obtain through observation. According to scientific assessments, this technology to build any instrument for this observation doesn't yet exist, and the tools we have cannot provide such precise data. So either you fabricated the data, or you used a so-called archaeist skill to... This unobservable data was not entirely obtained through archaeist skill. I refer to a large number of spectrum analysis and observation reports made by other scholars. Archaeist skill only played a very small part in, the in this process. You interrupt him, frowning at their 
rudeness of his tone. You can check the divination data. Divination? Divination data in the past uh, years uh, on page 24. It matches 97% of the data obtained uh, by normal means. The margin of error is perfectly acceptable. Mm. That's what's been written here. Your comparison is exhaustive. Good. <laughs> he frowns as he flips through the appendix and falls into a long silence. As if to ease the discomfort, he gestures to the next professor to ask questions. Ah! E okay, sorry. Take a deep breath. <laughs> sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm a lot. Okay. Mm, take a deep breath. No doubt, don't hesitate. Just uh, do it uh, in order and make progress. Find the pattern so I can keep these shadows at bay. Um, if I go this way, but if I go this way, I have to get to my god. Hey, it's fine. It's fine. I'll go through this. Oh god! I'm fine. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> it doesn't try to hide his contempt. It's there for all to see. I will never approve of a portrait by an arcanist. I'll say the idea in your head are hardly worth listening to. Astrolabe, spice and hourglass. It's not a game with my stupid little daughter. Stupid little what the f <laughs> That's your daughter, you're not even insulting me! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> he stands up in anger and puts his hand on the table for support. If you do the research in a human way, I'll say nothing but welcome. However, you acquired all those data through absurd methods. Ah, uh, she just told you that's not, that's not it. You remain unfazed, long, long accustomed to this. My apologies. Sorry, but your objections are not to do with the contents of my research. You are just attacking me personally. I will not respond the way you want, but please allow me to give you a suggestion. Respect your daughter. Yes, girl! <laughs> what a queen! <laughs> Burned by the gazes around him, the man flushes and sits down in panic. He is a hard nut to crack, but fortunately you still have uh, another choice. Other choices, sorry. We! We got this, boys! Baby! We got this, boys! <laughs> Oh god. Fuck! It's fine. <clears throat> One hand supporting his chin, the other tapping the table. This man seems to be um, evaluating your report seriously. Oh, one. At least one of them. Could you explain the 3% margin of error in the comparison table between the divination data and the normal observation data? A 3% error is indeed negligible, but I'd like to know if there's a commonality between these incons inconsistencies, sorry. If the commonality is universal, it may indicate that you have manipulated the data or even fabricated the results. You made, you a, made valid a valid point. point, Oops. but I don't have the evidence of something I did not do. Oh? I can show you more of the collected data. You can do a random check to see if I fake the conclusion. I have no further questions. Oh, alright, I have no further questions. <clears throat> the truth will remain unaffected, whether you are arcanist or not. I don't... I... well, okay. In odds, acknowledge your research. Acknowledging your research, sorry. You can help, but uh, give a sigh, a sigh of relief. You did it! Where is the exit? Fuck me! We're Gucci, don't worry. This thing following me is anxiety inducing. <laughs> doom, doom, doom. Sorry, I like this music. It is a cat! A cat boring! Sorry, <laughs> you look outside and you look outside and see the monster reduced to a side of a cat. Boring with satisfaction. Oh, you did it, girly. Your speech was remarkably effective. The crowd disperses, disperses, sorry. The crowd disperses, but the next interrogation approaches. You didn't have much to compose yourself, much time to compose yourself, sorry. Good job, girly. 
she, she's an anxious girly. I feel it so much. <laughs> Especially in front of people. Like, I... I am always... A lot. Uh, the good part about my kind of anxiety or my personality, more like, is that, that when I'm nervous, I smile a lot. And uh, I start talking a, a bunch, <laughs> so it looks like I'm being sociable, but I'm actually dying of anxiety. <laughs> okay, what time is it? Uh, I think I can do one more. Then I have to go edit before uh, my dad comes. Oh, I didn't read it. The Art of Defense. Art of Defense? I'm guessing defending your position? More than actually kicking someone's ass? Could be both. What is this? Sorry. Hmm. <clears throat> According to the data, the distance between White Dwarf, I'm not gonna read that, and its secondary star is gradually decreasing. They are uh, like two circling marbles falling into the same hole, except that they will not collide or separate. The White Dwarf will absorb matter from the secondary star after which the two will merge, producing a, producing a nuclear, rea rea nuclear fusion. Sorry. <laughs> I invented word. <laughs> in conclusion, a supernova that is closer to Earth than any other ones in history will take place. Amazing! Will it be... Maybe with a telescope you could see it? The professor in the conference room are left speechless and need a few moments to digest this shocking reveal. Our current data is not enough for simulating the supernova's influence on the Earth orbit. Wow! But its radiation can be destructive to the living things on Earth. You put down the research report, uns unsettled by the silence in the conference room. Well, it's quite shocking. I think it's a good silence. Do they see the significance of your report? Are they speechless because they think it's ridiculous? Maybe you're me! <laughs> um. Or are they just too shocked to say a single word? Keep going, you got this! Oh my god! Looks like a landmine. <laughs> Where am I? Okay. Um. Let's go. Motherfucker. Okay. Your conclusion shocked us. But I suppose you anticipated this. Kind of. Yes. Of course! <laughs> Have you considered the possible panic it may cause amongst the public? If, you con if your conjecture is wrong, the institution will become the target of public opinion. That is not something a researcher needs to consider. Fear and doubt are always present in the search for truth. Second one. I think it's not... A it's not the responsibility of the, research, the researcher to handle how to present it to the people. They just make the discovery, you hire spoke people for you to keep people um, at bay for a second. But I do think this is controversial to say. <laughs> so fear and doubt are always present in search for truth. The weatherman should not be condemned for predicting a storm. Doubt, fear, no research can truly be free of these things. I will I take responsibility for the public opinions it may cause. It's a price I have to pay. Wow, you're so cool. He sighs, but nods nonetheless. He's so cool. Um, if I go there, it becomes big, but then it becomes small again when I have to pass. Oh, out of range! Oh, right, I have to. Wow, fantastic. And for fantastic, I mean not fantastic at all. <laughs> hey! Like this? Sure! Fuck! <laughs> just kidding. I just have to do this. Oh? Um, I have no objection to your conclusion. Your data is certainly rigorous. <clears throat> but I'm curious if your prediction is correct. Is there any way to protect us from the, this radiation? Or will you leave uh, this problem to others? I'm only responsible for finding the problems. There is only so much we can do. Second one. The first one is a bit too rude. 
At this time, we are unable to analyze the composition of the radiation. I have no solution. It sounds depressing, but it's true. I think our hope lies uh, in further research. It seems oh, I have some... Sounds like I won't sleep well for a long time until we figure it out. <laughs> okay, he said it. <laughs> Poor professor. <laughs> he shakes his head, takes off his glasses and rubs the bridge of his nose. I'm sorry, man. Could not comfort you. I have to do the, the loop de loop again. Can I pass this through this? I can. Fantastic. Okay. This was very mm, I'd say this convoluted. report is a doom mongering work. I can tell, but see, this is a doomsday report. You have to admit that this report is heavily influenced by the Arcanum. How? How can I trust an Arcanist? I have reason- That's your problem! <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> I have reason to believe that you're using this report to bring Arcanists into the public eye to give them prominence, just as some religions do. That is a prejudice notion. The data does not lie. Both. <laughs> that, I guess. Let's not um, initiate conflict. The movement of Celestia's body is not influenced by my will. True. It is the observation and the comparative data that predicts the possibility. You may think that the, arcana, the Arcanists are full of lies, but data will always tell you the truth. Mm, a smart Asmar answer. Thanks. Mm, but time will tell if you're a sly Arcanist. She just said she's an Arcanist. Fine, whatever. Ah, where is that? Oh, fuck me! Sorry, <laughs> that, that, that was a bit loud. <laughs> I just go. I got this. Amazing. I don't think I did it within 15, though. Um, you let out a long sigh of relief. You survived the inquiry, and the monsters at the door is gone. At least now, you don't have to worry about being dragged back to the Institute like a lamb for slaughter. Hostility and doubts cast aside. The professor give you a few more suggestions, in a gentler way this time. Obviously, these suggestions are much more useful than their interrogation. It seems you'll have to spend more time perfecting this re the, the report. Sorry. You. Oh, sorry, I cut her off. <laughs> so far, you still have not noticed a black star floating above your head. Black star? What happened? What is up with you, my darling? I will discover it next time. <laughs> I did get one star. Go me. Wah! Yum! Yum, 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 yum. Wow, this is nightmare fuel. Sorry. Okay, I'm back. Um, we should have enough time to finish it. Literally, just one day left. <laughs> I always do this thing at the last minute. I'm very sorry. Um, but let's, uh, let's move on. It's literally the day after, so I remember everything. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> Even if my memory is pretty lacking. Um, so. What's the next anxiety-inducing problem? Mood, by the way. <laughs> Back at the institute, you worry over the professor's highlighting in the highlights in the report. There are still data gaps in the orbital trajectory of the secondary star, but you know this won't be an issue. It's just that examining the observational data will take a lot of energy and time, and arcane skills will get you the previous data more easily, provided you can accept the negligible error. How frustrating. She has a method that is more efficient, but she can't use it without being judged, or without uh, her data being completely discarded. That's, that fucking sucks. Um, <clears throat> something just hit your head hard. You look up to find uh, the greeting of a black star. Was it a black star? You feel that if you don't decide soon, your fragile neck uh, will have to retire early. Actually, would that be so bad? <laughs> I don't know what a black star is. <clears throat> Sorry if I look tired, by the way, it is 5pm and I had a full day, so my face might not be up to par. <laughs> ok, 
okay. <clears throat> Whether I follow the guiding light of my conscious mind or seek the fleeting light of inspiration, the, ch the choice is mine to make. The destination, okay. Oh, let's just go. <sighs> so. Oh, I didn't read it. You drive to the observatory and feel your way into the moldy conference room. The smell can ruin your appetite for days. Yikes. <laughs> this is an LT for sure. Cheer up. Look at you. Sneaking into the conference room in the middle of the night. How adventurous you have become. <laughs> uh, ooh. At Can least better than Kumar's bedroom. So the past data of the secondary star is... Better? Does she also have a mold problem in her bedroom? That's very, very bad. <laughs> As you move the pile of documents, a swarm of bug pours out from the bottle. Ew. No! Oh god. Anxiety time! Sorry. <laughs> For a moment you wish you had a torch so you could burn the place down and kill these cute little buggers. You see, the tedious life of a researcher has turned you into a child of the void of compassion and sympathy. <sighs> I can do this. You can, I believe in you. You tiptoe, hold your breath and rummage through the data books on the floor. You pick up a bounty of records and soon your bag is filled with all the data logs you need. You got this? After escaping the insect's nest, sweet air fills your lungs. Such an epic adventure in search of the truth should be a etch, 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 etch sorry, I don't know how to read it, <laughs> to the annals of history. Okay, you got this? <gasps> it was a choice! Oh! I'm gonna go back and do that part too. Hi. Sorry. <laughs> Why? It was a choice. He did say to said to choose, but I did not take it seriously. <laughs> These data. The movement of the secondary star was even more extreme than it is now. As you read the data, sweat begins to run down your cheeks. It was even closer Oops. to the white dwarf in the past. Until it reaches an extreme moment of flex away? Minimum distance and returned to its orbit. Huh. It said something different. My prediction is wrong. Oh shit. You know what this can mean? The endless to toilet toil? I don't know how to read it, sorry. <laughs> of starting over again. Not unlike uh, a C siphon? C siphon? Punishment. Ah, Sisyphus! Okay, sorry. <laughs> it's not uh, called like no, that in Italian. <laughs> something must be wrong with these data. Either the observer or my mistake. Oh. You eagerly want to prove the data is wrong, but a copy of data for comparison is stored in the Banner University Library. Fortunately, it's already late at night and the library... Unfortunately, sorry, <laughs> it's already late at night and the library is closed. You're itching to act. It will be a sleepless night if you don't get an answer. A mood. Why is it it? Because it's a crime? <laughs> if it's closed, that's breaking and entering. Oops, we need it. Library, indeed. <sighs> You sneak into the library, which is quiet as a graveyard. You find the data and quickly flip around, flip through the pages, sorry, noticing that there are blank spots at where important data should be. Oh! Hmm. These are remnants of an erasure. Oh. The owner of this data book had meticulously recorded the dedu deduction process of the data set, only to later delete this part of the data completely. Ooh, why? The missing data could either completely overturn my research or finally prove my findings. 
Unbelievable. You must have known that I would find this place. So, is it on purpose for, for you? Who did it? One of the professors? I'm sure he knew how important this Ata was. What compelled him to do all, all this? Is this what happened before she reached the conclusion that stuff is gonna come out our way? <laughs> in arrogance, all is beneath you. In humility, nothing eludes you. You see a familiar ma maxim taped to the book bookshelf. Sorry. You lowered your head and see the corner of a book by your feet. The answer you've been looking for. You open the data book and soon the familiar signature of the observer. And see, force. I read soon, sorry. <laughs> ironically, ironically, it reads Kumar. But yet, uh, she was always been. She has always been, maybe. Uh, the one who supported your prediction the most. The star hanging above your head will person's and sways. Hmm. What does this mean? What di did she hide the data? And for what? Okay, I want to do it again though, skipping the story. Okay. Under the clothes is a wooden disc full of vine-like patterns. The flowers of the mandrake. You choose the easiest way. Has anyone ever mentioned your lack of adventure and patience? You put a piece of paper on the disc and trace a circle on it. You close your eyes and relax, allowing the power from beyond your mind to take over your arm. You- Oh! I- I know of this! I don't know, remember the name though. Um, something writing? You hear the paper rustling. A masterpiece in, is in the making. A moment later, your hand stops, as if strings controlling it were broken. You open your eyes and see an absurd, unusual painting. It looks like a mural from ancient times. You touch it, imprinting the drawing in your mind, and close your eyes again. <sighs> now concentrate. Imagine the secondary star orbit, the Dwaitra. Dwarf, sorry. The scenario of your dreams begins to play out in your mind. Oh? A podium, dazzling spotlights, Kumar rises from her seat, and a shower of applause. A smile graces her face, uh, the usual indifference is gone without a trace. No, no, no. no. Try again. Is this how she would find... She would find out about her involvement with the documents, when she doesn't check the, the documents? You concentrate, but the sound of a flushing toilet is coming from the distance. What? Water spirals down the toilet. Two black spheres are carried by, carried by the current. Between them, a bottomless darkness. What's, What's this? this? Oh, sorry. <laughs> I said it and cut it off. Um, clearly, the sound of the water has created a strange image in your meditation. But soon you notice that the trajectory of the sphere in the water looks just like... What did you see? The long face will do you no good. Record the precious data before it goes away. What did you see? Okay, it's the same. I'm, I'm gonna confidently skip. I don't think any of my choices would influence the, the outcome. But just to be sure, I will go back and choose the documents again. <laughs> okay, now I'm ready for... Oh, this was either this or that. I did both. <laughs> the Fading Stars is the next page. So pretty. I wish the sky was still like this at night. Not for me. You're lucky if you have a sky like that. <laughs> According to Kumar's post-observational data, the secondary star trajectory changes periodically. It approaches the white dwarf until a minimum distance, and then the entire orbital trajectory begins to change. Which means... 
then the supernova explosion I inferred would be nothing more than an absurd conjecture, or my previous research would become a pile of waste paper. Omar, what were you thinking? If my conjecture is wrong, there was no point in hiding it. Mm. Oh, why did she just... Allowing me to go further and further down the wrong path. All that wasted time and money. What was in it for her? Yeah, what was in it for her? Maybe discrediting you would have... Uh, would have gained her something? It seems uh, I'll have to observe it myself. To prove your mistake, just observe the secondary star on its nodal day and you'll have the answer. And uh, the nodal day is... Uh... Tomorrow? Ooh, so quick! Oh, so pretty, sorry. Unfortunate. Who else could pre personally experience both the confirmation and the collapse of their work <laughs> in just a few days? There's no time to waste. The most pressing matter now is to choose a telescope for observation, which is your specialty. The optical telescope, although hampered by A's, is still the most widely used tool uh, for everyday observations. Simple and affordable. I remember Garav, I forgot how to read it, sending one to his grandmother in uh, Malinong. I'm very sorry for the pronunciation. <laughs> The X-ray telescope can only detect the X-rays uh, emitted after the white dwarf's eruption, but it's still far from time. And radio telescope, it can observe the radio wave transmitted by the dis by distant stars, uh, unaffected by weather and atmosphere. The celestial body hanging overhead gradually expands, like a canvas of darkness. Looks like its patience is running out. You look at the thick clouds uh, deep in thought. In thought, sorry. Oh, so today my hair sucks. I'm sorry, I don't know what's up with them. <laughs> in search of the truth, we must always face the prospect of existing knowledge being invalidated and the data we've gathered becoming useless. Some paths are safe and steady, other paths are unstable and weak. <laughs> um, some areas may have unstable ground that crumbles when you walk on it. Run your step carefully. Wow, okay. The X-ray telescope, Kumar often used this as a touchstone for spotting the gifted. Oh, it was an, a, a, a processing... Sorry, I read it wrong. <laughs> um, um, are you really going to choose this? Is your memory failing you? A researcher's brain can't be this smooth. This smooth. Sorry, I can't read the <laughs> Let's take a little trip down memory lane. <clears throat> so none of you know what it is. The classroom fell silent. The students uh, stared at the arrogant instructor, clueless. It's ridiculous that the emission would let you students with no common sense get into my classroom. Yeah, it seems I'm expected to stuff the wonders of the celestial bodies into your empty heads. An X-ray telescope. You raised your hand, giving the answer. Hmm? She looked at you with interest. This telescope can receive X-ray emitted by celestial bodies for analysis and observation. It's launched into space and at an extremely long observation distance. But it doesn't perform well when observing celestial bodies that emit weak rays, such as a stable white dwarf. Your expectant gaze met her eyes, which held a hint of a smile. Not bad. You're her favorite. <laughs> At least you are not as empty-minded. Please come ended, see me sorry, after the ended. class. Ooh. Um, since then, the other students have secretly called you and Kumar the Siamese twins. <laughs> you didn't bother to deny it because the two of you became almost inseparable. Huh. The more time you spend with her, the more you became like her in temperament. 
like a sponge, you began to absorb her wisdom and insight. Please do not pick up her temperament. She doesn't seem very patient. Yet today, you come here, like one of those ignorant students. Is your life a living comedy? <laughs> okay, we'll just get out of here, like this. Oops, never mind. Uh, if I do this, probably it's okay. And I'm gonna skip, because I already read this. And doing this should be okay. And you're stuck there, I'm very sorry, bud. Oh, it's not fine, okay, <laughs> sorry. I forgot that I have to step on the actual tile too. It's fine. You haven't been back here for years. When Kumar first brought you here, she saw you as her sole successor. Radio telescope, uh, radio telescopes can receive information from even more distant celestial bodies through radio radiation. Unlike an optical telescope, it won't give you just a rough picture of the universe. The receiver processes the radiation signals and converts them into their final form for recording and display. Which means it works no matter what the weather or the atmosphere is like. Yes, but it is not an extension of the human eye. It presents the star to us from a different angle, in precise data. The accurate and precise data to us means the same as the stunning night sky to them. For most people, numbers on paper and stars in the sky are nothing alike, but the accurate data to us is the same as the stunning night sky to them. This is our first lesson, child. The moment you enter the research institute, the glittering stars in your eyes will cease to twinkle. Oh! The vast universe will become tedious. When you look up at the night sky, you will find the primal thrill slowly leaving you. And that is the price of researching for its secrets. That's sad. This is the... This might be the reason why you shouldn't actually make your passion your work sometimes, your job, sorry, sometimes. Because it, it like, uh, destroys the magic or something. Sorry, I'm gonna tie my hair. Or maybe I'm gonna... Okay, I'm gonna do this cute thing again. I'm gonna look a bit like an egg, but don't mind it. Okay. Uh, she taught you everything she knew and treated you as her own child. Until finally, you realized that she was just nurturing another version of herself. The switch. Switch. Oh, of the telescope. You turn on the radio telescope and hold your breath, uh, getting ready for the final reveal. Is this a cruel joke of Kumar's or a ridicule blunder? Oh, the exit. I would, I would be forced to get there if I could. Okay, let's go this way and then we'll see. Because this one is the right one. Okay. You head straight for the optical telescope at the observatory. That's where you meet, met Kumar for the first time. Uh, you will never forget that day. Why? Why did she conceal the observed data? She must have known my conjecture was probably wrong from the start. You touch the time-worn telescope, wondering if it can tell you the answer. Observatory. <gasps> baby! I saw her being a baby when in the trailers, but, but this is so cute. Oh my god, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> oh, oh, my hair got a little longer. I wonder if I can also do a little, um, how do you call them? Um, treccine <laughs> in Italian. I forgot. Child, how long have you been here? You would like to see it, right? You bobbed your hair hesitantly, like an undecided puppy wagging its tail. She gently moved aside, stepping back to make room. You clenched your fist. That was the first time you wanted to touch something beyond your reach, which unexpectedly led you to a future you had never imagined. 
You got into the stage and brought your eyes close to the gateway to the universe. Why would she raise you or sabotage you like that? You understand this place won't help you with the problem. This is just a visit for you to reminisce. To reminisce? That's how you say it? Sorry? Well, at least it helped you remember a few things. Okay, now I have to take the opposite path. I went uh, this way, I think. Like this. Okay, I can do this too. I don't need to disturb the boy. And I don't need to make him fall. He's gonna fall anyway, by the way. But uh, like, it's like this boy. Okay, <laughs> sorry. Um, I didn't even look out how many moves I wasted. You drag your weary body back to the institute. Your brain is groaning, craving sleep uh, like never before. According to the radio telescope uh, observations, uh, uh, Kumar's data was correct every step of the way. The observational results are de a death sentence, uh, condemning you as a failure. Your research nothing more than an absurd mistake. And Kumar had known this all along, but remained silent. After all, it was your research. Still a bitch move. <laughs> That's your kind of child you raised them. Electricity arcs inside the light bulb, and the room pulsates between light and darkness. It's an old problem with the wiring, tolerating its inconvenience has long been the consensus. But the flaws will pile up like an unsurmountable depth until everything wobbles and falls apart beyond salvation. Like right now. Mm, I see. <laughs> a good metaphor though. Up and up and at the worst slash right time for, for it to be dramatic, but also for it to cause you a mental breakdown. It would. <laughs> I would have a mental breakdown <laughs> if this was my day. <laughs> the darkness descends upon the room like an unpleasant intruder. It is heavy, as are your feelings. There is no one around, holding the report tightly. You close your eyes and open them again. I should have known. I oh. should have known. This entire research was just a small part of her plan. From the moment I entered the institute, she no longer saw me as a, stu as a student. What a bitch. Sorry. <laughs> Flames ignite, crawling up the paper. Oh. You know this is just one insignificant segment among the countless meaningless threats between mankind and Arcanis. A journey left unfinished, a chapter left unconcluded, and a theory left unproved. Mar, I hope, I hope this is the last lesson you left me. The report burns, words turn to ash, and dissolves into the air. The secondary star trajectory is in inconsistence, but there are Small abnormalities in some of the observational data. The amount of such anomalous data is scarce and was considered an observational error. Wait. In that case. <gasps> Don't burn it! <laughs> put out the fire! Uh, yes! <laughs> you try to put out the fire, but what's left of the report uh, turns to dust in the palm of your hand. So what? You have to start again? No! Tell me what it means! <laughs> Well, I'm gonna find out real soon. But still. <laughs> Wee! Give me my nummies. Ooh, yum yum. We're almost done. We miss missing two stages. I'm scared. <laughs> Sorry. Celestial bodies and mythologies. So did Kumar not fuck it over? Hmm. Sorry if you're creaking when I talk, it's my chair. It, it was old. It was in the trash. <laughs> Biting your finger, you stare at the empty table. Not all is lost, though. There are still copies of the report archived at the Institute. If that was How an could observation... Mark with the same normal data, too? Oh. Um... If that was an observational error, why were there the same anomalies in Kumar's data as well? Right! 
What? I hadn't noticed this before. The data set Kumar obtained through arcane skill also has a nearly similar 3% error. A 3% error. At the inquiry, Kapoor and Dutt also expressed doubt about it. No way. Is this a coincidence? No, it can't be. Unless Kumar and I fell into the same trap and made the same mistake. Oh, you are the same. <laughs> You feel a tremor, as if electricity is running through you. I hope you are not, though, because uh, if you did not make the same mistake, it would be good news for you. Is, is it possible Ooh. that the changes of the orbit follow a certain pattern? You push the desk and the chairs aside and spread all the observational observation log on the floor. Ooh, I love working on the floor. <laughs> That's a mood. You can't figure out what common factor is influencing your research and Kumar's. The truth is, uh, many, fa many wrong false conclusions stem from a lack of respect for coincidences. No way. These errors uh, happen at nearly the same time in every dataset. That's good news. You are determined to get to the bottom of this uh, once and for all. There is work to be done. Walk time, baby. <laughs> okay. The toilet outside the window is about to catch up on me. With me, sorry. If we keep dallying about uh, indecisively, our focus is going to be completely used up. Book, food, bugs, anything goes, as long as it gets uh, this brain to wake up uh, again. Bugs? <laughs> well, I think uh, I could uh, eat a bug uh, if. Uh, where do I go? Ah, there. Oh, I fucked up already. Sorry. I would say, I, I think I could go for bugs, honestly. Let's just, if I do this, okay. But what does this do? We'll find out. Oh, sorry. We'll find out. Oh, it does that. It's fine. It's a great path. We're Gucci. We're fine. We can also follow the dude. <laughs> oh, depending where the exit is, sorry. Morning like spills on the ground. You spent the entire night analyzing the data, but found nothing. Gulping down a cup of coffee, you learn Lulina gets the file a file cabinet and watch the world outside awaken. There isn't much time left. Wait, what's the book on the ground? You seem to remember it. I thought I, I lost thought it. I lost it. <laughs> I forget that she says it out loud sometimes. <laughs> oh! Celestial bodies in uh, I history, okay, sorry. <laughs> A brief history of celestial bodies, mythological compilation. You pick it up and pat the dust of it. The spine is labeled Banner Elementary School Library. This library really should put you on their blacklist. The origin of the star Faust. Fausta. In the beginning, the universe. Uh, in the beginning, in the beginning. <laughs> Sorry, that meme is in my head now. <laughs> in the beginning, <laughs> the universe was shapeless, dark, and silent, like a bottomless well. A speck of dust falling into the endless darkness was the primordial Faust. He marked out his territory, safeguarding peace and order as would a king, but it was a land without subjects. A crude grey scribble is scrawled below, below the words. This writing. You remember it was written with a pencil shorter than your pinky. Who? He marked out his territory, safeguarding peace and order uh, as a king would. We already read this. But uh, it was a land without subjects. You held the book uh, while uh, she propped uh, her chin attentively. <gasps> the girly! Wow, just like teacher Sakash from our hut. She told us there was nothing in the hut at first, just some rotten planks. No one wanted to learn from her. They all said instead of sharing, sorry, staring at numbers, they might as well go herd cows to earn some money for chapati. Chapati? Sorry, I don't know if I'm reading it right again. I'm sorry. It's a shame, she sounds like a good teacher. Hey, don't worry, it was only temporary. Later, the cowherd Sal Salman 
uh, stood quietly by the window and left uh, a ruler behind. Soon after, Tasim, Tasim, from the cart driver's family, brought over a table and bench, each missing a leg. <laughs> over time, more and more people came. That's cute. Um, teacher Sakash told us, uh, there are more stars in the sky than grain of rice in a pot. I haven't counted the stars, but I sure have counted grain of rice. Teacher Sakasha is absolutely right. <laughs> she scratched her head. But then she said the rice grains in the pot will one day outnumber the stars in the sky. Wow, so grim. <laughs> uh, that really confuses me. You can come with her next time. You will be very welcome. She turned that face away dejectedly. It's too high, and too far from here. Besides, uh, I came to count the stars and I've already got my answer. This year Sakash is wrong. There are so many stars in the sky that grain of rice can never, be outnum can never outnumber them. Teachers make mistakes too. That's what she told me. Oh. Kumar made a mistake too. They both did, because it was the same mistake. He took out a pencil and left a dot to mark the end of the story. I should get going. Let's stop here for today. Thank you. Wait, when will you come back again? I I don't know. The hut is getting demolished, so we're looking for a new place. Once we find a new hut, I'll come back to find you. If, if I don't come back... She wrote something on the page. One stroke at a time. You can come find me here. Did you ever go find her? <sighs> Yet I never saw her again. You should go to her. You turn the page and find the part of the book gone. Something you just you own. Like a faint sense of guilt. But the part where she scribbled is gone? Leaning down, you hold back the urge to wretch. Oh. Looking for the miss page, missing page with the address. Um, where is the exit? Oh, no exit, just vibes. Okay, I have to reset. <laughs> Wait. So I have to go that way. So I have to... I just do this. And I can do it from this way. I should follow it. Because it's gonna fuck me if I go around it. So like this. And we follow the same path as the boy. And we'll trap him again. I'm very sorry, boys. I trapped you. I keep trapping you. If we completely rely on human research methods with our funding, we probably can't even secure the necessary equipment. Make good use of shortcuts, child. Don't try to win by the rules alone. Huh. But data obtained through our case skill is an entirely ac accurate. It will directly affect the research results. I'm telling you, cast aside your preferences. You can use human observational data to validate your research, while using arcane skills to always stay on step, one step above, ahead of them. Sorry, I invent words when I know the, when I know when the, where the sentence is going. <laughs> she sat back down, burying her head in, a, in the pile of documents. Why are you still here? I left a book here. Did Kumar get rid of the page? Is it this one? I thought it belongs to a dim-witted intern. She threw the book at you, its page rustling as it fell to the ground. She's so rude sometimes. I know she is her loving teacher and she loved her a lot and she trusts her and she probably did not fuck her around. Oh, she did, but she didn't know she didn't, sorry. <laughs> uh, so I don't need to defend her, kind of. But uh, she has a side of her personality that is so snappy and so rude that I I believe that uh, people cannot stand it as much as quitting on the spot <laughs> when she gets on one of her moods. It's a really bad personality trait, but uh, you can do nothing about it. If you love someone, you have to love them for their um, little outrages too. <laughs> well. It's not healthy. If something is very toxic, you should take a step back, honestly. It's pages rustling as it fell to the ground. Sorry, I tore out some pages to use as draft paper. Oh. You can buy another copy if you need it. 
just make a note in the research budget. She didn't look up the whole time. Oh. There's no need. Oh. You picked up the pages and hurried out of the stifling office. Also, no respect for someone else's property. That kind of suck. <laughs> Maybe it was uh, of some dim-witted intern, but the interns are still people. So, still uh, no, justify no justification. The last page is still missing in the book, uh, but some pages in the middle are missing. You push away the desk, uh, chewing gum, uh, scraps of paper, pellets of pieces, um, cereal bars uh, and a sleeping rat. <laughs> what is this place? <laughs> Where is your cleaning crew? Do you not have that much of a budget that you can't even find um, resources to clean the place? Maybe you are too busy to clean and you do not have the budget to hire someone. Still, you cannot live in such a space and you live there because you work there. Ah, there is an unfinished page in its arm. I'm so sorry. Thank goodness it's not a fast hitter. Oh, thank rat. So if I go, okay, I'm fine. I hope this is where the exit is. <laughs> okay, last one. You snatch the page from the rat. It squeaks and scurries out of the office. Well, hopefully you don't feel guilty about that. Oh. This is probably the missing page. Flattening and unfolding it, you restore the crumpled page to its original form. But the address on it is nowhere to be found. What? What is going on? I remember. Yes, you remember that dim-witted intern. Oh wow, so it is really <laughs> the intern's fault. <laughs> That's it for today. You can go now, G Gorav. Okay, Miss Calabon. Uh, but I think I'll stay a while longer. I need to double check uh, this data on the spectral lines. See you tomorrow then. I haven't stopped you. Sorry, is this your book, Miss Calabona? Yes. Yes, it is. My mother used to read me this story. I'm very sorry, I flipped through it just now without permission. This page seemed to have data copied down by Miss Kumar. That unpleasant feeling again. Get rid of it for me. Oh? You remember living without looking back? Why? It's not the intern's fault. You told him to throw it away. The truth comes out. It was you who erased the address and the data. But something else springs to mind. Wait, wait, data on the spectral lines? A kennel of truths emerges. Gurav was actually able to distinguish single, distinguish single stars from binary stars? Then, his data wasn't wrong! <gasps> oh, <an> intern! <laughs> he was right and nobody listened! <laughs> With this realization, you turn back to the lab, take out uh, the diagram and match them uh, up one by one. Another answer emerges in your mind. See, you bullied the intern for no reason. Gaurav had been meticulously recording data all along. He never missed a thing. It was me and Kumar using data obtained through arcane skills who misled the whole team. Ah! Ah! That's the problem. So, it's not exactly more efficient as a method. I see. The truth no longer eludes you, but it is too late. You flip the paper back and forth, your eyes darting from place to place. No, it's not as simple. With the data we got through arcane skills combined with Gorav's analysis, analysis, there's a new possibility. Another, Another star in the system just yet to be found. Another undiscovered sa star? Huh? What if the stars only appear at the orbit nodal point of change and is beyond the detection at other times? You circle the nodal points, 
overturning your research step by step. In the face of discovering a new star, this labor seems inconsequential. An unknown discovered star that intermittently att attracts the secondary star. So many big words, sorry. <laughs> Whenever the binary star is on the verge of a supernova, it pulls the secondary star back into the proper orbit. This game is more interesting than you thought, Kumar. Leaving the mess in the institution behind, you got back to the obs observed obs <laughs> obs observatory. Sorry, for some reason I got stuck on that word. <laughs> the star above your head happily follows uh, as an approval of your decision. Aside from avoiding the peak of solar radio emission, the radio telescope has uh, no other limitations. Your heart is being squeezed as if you were holding it in your hands. End. Sorry. So, so the, the conclusion is. You're saying it? What is the conclusion? What what part are we? Se seven? Last one? Last one now? Last one soon? <laughs> Wee! Yum 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 yum! Yum! Nice! Okay, dust and stars. Well, the title is Between Dust and Stars. So what now? What did we see? What was the conclusion? Are you gonna tell me? <laughs> Under the night sky, William Herschel's symphony echoes through the observatory. In 1758, when the musician was at the concert hall, he probably never imagined that he would one day accomplish what many astronomers have struggled a lifetime to achieve. Discovering Uranus, the seventh planet in the solar system. It all started with a popular science book, science book which abruptly claimed that there were human-like creatures living on comets and the sun. <laughs> so he tried to look for these living things on the distant celestial bodies through a re refracting telescope. The blurred images disappointed him greatly. He had uh, no choice but to spend great effort and a large sum of money building his own telescope. Damn, boy! But he didn't find any life on the celestial bodies. Instead, he discovered a planet overlooked by, overlooked and neglected by astronomers, um, and became famous overnight, attracting worldwide attention. You fear the loss of status so much, thinking its benefits irreplaceable, yet the benefits often find another way befalling you. Fate loves this kind of reversal, casting the seeds of hope in one direction only to grow towering tree in a place you never expected. <sighs> Night falls, revealing the stars in the sky, you sigh as the boundless universe has not given you the answer you expected. The God of Fortune does not smile on you. An undiscovered star simply does not exist. Ah. I see. So what? Ah, again, okay. Hope that he is barely born, only to be extinguished. Truth that is certain, yet doubtful. The traces of our going back and forth between the two extremes are evidence of our progress. I didn't get any of that, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, only this is... Okay, I see. Sorry. I didn't notice these were different. Oh, are you following me? You're not. Okay. We got these. Are you my destination? You are. Okay. Oh. Ah. Is, this is the... Okay, someone in the comments told me, don't worry, you'll get to try Calabona at full level. Um, in one of the stages. This was the stage! <laughs> Amazing! What are we fighting? She's so pretty. Can I check her? Yes! <laughs> Just the time I expected. So pretty. Be my guest, timekeeper. <laughs> Sorry! I'll, 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 I'll breathe. Oh, so pretty. Is this a secondary outfit? Oh, yes, it is. So pretty. Okay, sorry. Let's start. 
What the? Ah, it, okay. Ah, thanks for the plus one. Whoa, 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 whoa okay. Mm -hmm. What does this do? One target, uh, the elemental damage. Okay, so, ah, right, she has that weird mechanism of all the planets. Sorry, this song, I love the, the combat song so much. And this gives Mar Mars, don't remember what Mars does. But I think Mars is a good one. Let's do this one first. Such a bop. Don't hurt me. Oh, okay. Oh, well, it's fine. I go with this and this one. Everything Ooh. has its cause and effect. All right, the ulti gives moon. Moons, sorry. I don't remember what. I don't remember what any planet does. Hope I remember. All right, she Hope does extra attacks. Or something, depending on what she has. So cool. I'm not gonna skip any of this, so you're gonna see me bop again. I'm very sorry about this. <laughs> I'm gonna do this. It's happening. Three March. Mars, sorry. Okay. Um. Ooh. Everything has its cause Is that what it does? Blocks attacks. I uh, if uh, I never get her by accident, <laughs> I have to really study, it's study happened. real hard. Yes, the moons do it's an extra happened. attack. I think. <gasps> Confusion. Oh, it does a lot of things. I think. Wow. So dead. Amazing. I love her. I did not understand what I did, but it was cool. What? Is this the exit? It is. Okay. Oh, ha. Oh, it wasn't the exit. Okay. Where do I go? This and this. So I don't care about this, right? If I do this, am I dead? I'm not dead yet. Ha! Okay. How much do you come? Toward me. I'm dead. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. This... Should be better. I got this, and then the thing is gonna summon a flipping shadow, but we're gonna be fine. On the dark part of the sky night, specks of light appear one after another. Orion, Canis Major, they are made up of irregular celestial bodies. People name them in imitation of nature. I negated my own theory I negated and my own theory and rebuilt it again and again. Every time I found the spark of hope in the darkness, the truth just put it out against my will. Oh. It's okay, girly. Wow, so pretty. You lean against the railing of the observatory. A vast, dense forest lies below. You stop observing and look up at the sky, at the night sky. You've missed for so long. How many people have been inspired by this celestial wonder and entered the realm of astronomy? Luminosity, distance, lifespan, they measure these beautiful celestial bodies by human standards, describe them in words and numbers, and assign them coordinates. If the arcanists of Mesopotamia saw that human astronomy is like now, they would go mad and try to tear it, tear it all down. <laughs> they observe tens of thousands of stars. Call the stars, call these stars cluster living beings, and eventually built a magnificent ce celestial system. Huh. So, so, so. Um, they recorded all the astronomical phenomena 
and accomplish them into records that guided mankind, only to be sentenced to death for their predictions and forecasts. Kumar stood in front of the podium. That was the only time you saw her emotionally moved. Three months ago, archaeologists discovered the cuneiform tablets near the Tigris River. The Mesopotamian astronomer, astronomers, sorry, <laughs> uh, who were punished by death, left these words on the tablets. We once measured the infinite with our insignificant bodies and recorded eternity in our fleeting existence. No need to remember, no need to ponder, we perish, but the truth, but truth remains eternal. No matter where you end up in the future, keep these words to heart. They are the very essence of our existence. They are so depressing though. <laughs> very poetic, but very depressing. <laughs> okay, um, time to run for my life. Oh, it, even in that direction. Fantastic. Rude! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> okay, we'll be fine. Haha! <laughs> you can't move! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what is the price we must pay for a, a kennel of truth? If our theory of lifelong devotion is proven wrong, how are we to not collapse and still carry on? The pain is still an in inevitable cost that we must bear. Only by concluding this chapter can we move on to the new path. Perhaps one that leads to the truth. I think, I think I'm, ready. I'm ready. She had it. You reach out, stroking the celestial body above your head, as, it, as if you've reached an understanding with it. It starts it start to as ascend, sorry. It starts to ascend, first floating in the air, then the sky, and the last, and at last, toward the end of sight. Having abandoned a new, having abandoned a theory doomed to failure, you can barely contain your sadness. Nevertheless, you breathe a long sigh of relief. The story wasn't super packed of this one, but it was kind of cute, and it was like it, it showed her character very well, and it showed a bit of Kumar too. I don't know how much she is in the main plot, probably not. <laughs> um, but at least I have a base now to understand her. Why do you want uh, to look at the universe? It's the one thing that no one can take from me. Um, mm. one of the two things. I still have this broken shirt. <laughs> Stars don't die. And they don't need to eat. No one can occupy them by spending money. They... they are so beautiful. Hmm, not a good reason. Well, well, my daddy is in Maulino. The stars are the only one thing we can watch together when oh. we're on the phone. Oh, the sink full of greasy dishes, endless housework. I want to run away from them. I feel so bad for you, Imani. <laughs> Even though life was filled with unstoppable snores and cries, I knew I was living for myself as long as I still saw the stars. Oh, girly. I hope you got a better job. Because they are just there. They are reassuring. They are a constant, a constant in your life. It's very cute. When I'm angry, I always lie on the roof and look at the stars. They oh. twinkle just like diamonds. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm tearing up. I wish I could pick them off uh, one day and put them all in my pocket. <laughs> then I'll exchange them for a near dosa as large as a coral. <laughs> or near, I don't know how to read it, sorry, again. <laughs> the shadows overlap, then fade away one by one. You reach out, framing an area with your index and thumb. The location of the white dwarf, I'm not gonna read that. <laughs> I will remember you, little star. Oh. It senses your existence and starts to flicker. But something is not right. It gets brighter and brighter until it becomes the size of a pebble. A supernova? Were you right? <laughs> oh, 
boy. You stare in disbelief. The blinding lights engulf everything in sight. It burns your skin and stings your face. Oh? Is this a prediction? Was all of this a dream? Would make sense all the creatures around? <gasps> Hi. Hi. Hey, 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 you'll never get me. So, what happened? <gasps> Ooh. I have to sneeze. It wasn't a tragic sneeze. <laughs> you wake up started. Shirts soaked in sweat. At what point did you fall asleep? In all of this? Uh, are you alright? Miss Calabona? Gaurav stands by the window, holding the curtains. You block the glaring sunlight with your hand and tell him to pull back <laughs> the curtains. A vampire. A dream. A dream. Sorry, I cut her off. You support your head, still feeling dizzy. The research report on the desk is uh, as fresh as new, nor can his name is signed on it. You are still safely hidden, disguised as a human. Oh. I remember that book. It should be here somewhere. New thoughts arise, urging you to take a different path from the one in the dream. Found it. Was it a divination what you said what you saw? On the page, what's left of the writing is still vaguely discernible. This is an appointment long overdue. Oh, you still have the page then? Karav, I'd like to ask you a favor. Please drive me to this address. The car keys are on the table. Poor Interna, he was not here to drive you around. <laughs> you point to the faded writing, as if uh, she was still stubbornly inviting you to come. Okay, <laughs> same. Also, you put a form on his desk. Mm -hmm. Have you considered becoming former researcher? <gasps> oh, you are nice to the intern. He deserves this. The end. Oh, this was nice. I don't understand how, if you could, could clarify me if I missed it. At what point it was a dream, or was it all a dream? Or was it all a prediction, or not a dream? Like, she did do some divination um, before. So, yay, got everything. This is still nightmare fuel. Yay! <laughs> but uh, this was very nice and very. Lovely to experience. I'm glad I got to do it in time. Um, I'm guessing this one unlocks later. Let me know uh, when it unlocks. If I should do it uh, recording it or I can do it by myself. Sometimes the, this uh, limited event uh, are just uh, little uh, games to gain uh, a few drops. Okay. Please. This will. Sweet dream. Thank you. Oh, since we're here, I'm gonna. First of all. I will put... Um, where is my boy? My hot hot man. There you are. Hello, boy. Because uh, Tooth Fairy is all, uh, all raised uh, with her bond. Um, <clears throat> I want to um, le level up a few people. You? Come in. For sure. That's fine. Just be careful not to be. Okay, you say two, I should get the new... Ah! <laughs> hey, I didn't know you value me so much. What so you handsome. So handsome, I did not notice the color. <laughs> I appreciate it very much though. <laughs> okay, ah, the shoes. I love it. He also has a little heel. You're so majestic. Damn, so pretty. The nail polish. Please, please. <laughs> I can't keep watching you. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I'm simping so hard. Okay. Oh, a little illustration with the doggies. I want a model though, I like when he moves around like this. Um, and then I want... Um, <clears throat> Regulus. Okay. 
So I have another star. I want also to raise <gasps> the roaring engine of the motor. Adorable. The rocking music from the radio. The waves when the ship sets sail. Everything and everything. Oh, I can't she... wait to fill the new world. She always has sunglasses. Her eyes are beautiful. Her new, her new dress is so pretty. She's lovely. Oh my goodness, my cousin seems for Regulus. I think she's onto something. <laughs> she is also playing uh, this event. She only plays the main event, if I'm not wrong, though. She, had, she didn't have time to record this part of the event. Uh, this mini, mini part. Um, uh, oh, sorry. Oh, so pretty. Um, uh, but if you want to check her out, I will make something pop up here. <laughs> Her bond, of course, is also very high because I use her to farm. Then, uh, let me see, Sasuke, no, okay. I want you. I'm not good at dealing with visitors. It's cool. I'm almost out of time, I think. Oh, 10 minutes. It's plenty. Yee! The times never so stop. Maybe I can't change anything. But at what? least I've once spoken out. Ooh, what do you want to change? So pretty. My god, I love her. I love this. Very, very pretty. Oh, sorry. It's so cute. Okay. Miss your. This thing! I want it. I want seven. <laughs> and I want this boy too. It's so nice to meet you. Thank you. I've been waiting for so long. I don't have these. Can I farm them real quick? Okay. I should have enough at least for him, and then I'm gonna stop. There we go. It's my boy. <gasps> the day I have waited for is finally come. What? Welcome to my world. What do you have on you? Okay, your second outfit is particular. And suspicious. <laughs> It looks like a super villain kind of costume, but you are also kind of a scientist. So maybe it's just a med scientist, med scientist kind of costume. You also have a little... What is it? A camera? Looks like something with a clock or a pressure measurement. Wow, so pretty though. Oh, you! I wonder if I can... I can! Voyager! Yes! Oh, I think this is still your first one. Oh my goodness! I fucked up. She is very cool. I should have um, up, up there sooner. Oh, lovely. My goodness. You, you also have to react. I formed for you. No lovely. You're so cute. Okay. I don't think I have the materials for a second ascension for you either. Well, just a tiny piece of change in my long, calm life. <laughs> you told me she's more granny than mommy. <laughs> but jokes on you, I'm not afraid of simping for older ladies. <laughs> she's lovely to me anyway, either way. I'm also old, <laughs> so it's fine. <laughs> okay. Um, But for today, I'm gonna stop here. Thank you so much for watching. If you feel like it, subscribe. And I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.